My name is Mary Laura Jones and I've worked with the ICA Institute of Cultural Affairs for many years and I'd like to tell the story of the Salani Western Samoa Human Development Project. My family and I were there in 1979 uh, to 1982 and then we moved to Tonga to do replication, the Kingdom of Tonga. In Salani, the project was a very small village, maybe 400 people, at the end of the road, and we had no transportation except for the small bus that came every morning at 3.30 in the morning. And that was the only way you could get to town. So we, there were many early mornings for any of us who had business in town. And um, we worked on the fishing industry with the people of the village. We worked on building a preschool, a health program, excuse me. And we, um, it was very special and wonderful. We lived in houses with no walls. It was a very beautiful village and just thatch huts and then the ocean right there. And um, so anyway, over time we did those programs and during that time we also visited other island nations in the Pacific Ocean and so we went to French Polynesia, we went to Fiji, we went to the Kingdom of Tonga, we went to the Marshall Islands, we visited all those places and we fell in love with the Kingdom of Tonga very very interesting Polynesian country just like Western Samoa but the people of Tonga very much wanted training from the ICA and so um, they said a lady named Sina Vaipuna was the secretary of the bishop Amanaki Havea he was a Methodist bishop in the Pacific and he was very well known and um, so he assigned us to Sina, and Sina said, we want Dr. Havea and all of us here, at, we want the ICA to come and train our young people. So we said, that would be great. And then they said, we would like to do it in January of every year, and uh, the students who are scholarship students, universities, are sent across the Pacific for university education but they come home for Christmas and then they have January and they are available so I said that sounds wonderful she said okay well let's go talk to the Queen the Queen of Tonga so we went to talk to the Queen and she said my husband the King and I want the ICA to train our young people and so we said wonderful and so they had had some training from us and so they said okay what shall we do and I said, well, we have to get some students. They said, oh, we will get the students. And then I said, you need some people from the villages, older people, not just students. So they said, okay, we'll get one man and one woman between the ages of 30 and 45 or 50. And they will get one from each, one man, one woman from each village. And so then we said, okay, well, where are we going to have this training school? And they said, the queen said, we are going to do it at the high school because the high schools all had dormitories and cafeterias and places to eat, all kind of outdoors also. So we said, that would be wonderful. And then I said, how many people will be able to sleep there? And they said, 200. And I said, oh, I didn't think we were having that many. They said, oh yes, we will have 200. And I said, when will this be? And they said, next January. I said, okay. And then, what happened next? Then, then we said, what are we going to do about the food? They said, every village will take one day of the 30 days of the training school. And the village will come. And sure enough, every day of the training school, in came a truck loaded with food and people who would do all the cooking for the day. It, the whole thing was amazing. And so... Uh, then we talked to our colleagues in the ICA in Singapore and Chicago and they started putting a teaching team together 
And so all these people came right after Christmas, I think, because all the students were coming maybe the 5th of January. And all these people came from all over the Pacific, from Japan, from Korea, from the Philippines, all the other places, Malaysia, Singapore, and also New Zealand and Australia. And so we put together the teaching team. We had about four days and we used the human development training curriculum. And every day the students learned ICA methods of reflection and training in the mornings. And then in the afternoon they would have a project to do in the area. And then that was the plan every day. And then on Wednesday, they would go to a village somewhere and they would work with the people in the village to see what the village wanted to do, how they wanted to improve themselves. So one village wanted to have a preschool because it was way far away from the main city and they had all these little kids, but they didn't want to put them on a boat or on a truck to go to another city because they were just little. So then they realized they would have to have trained preschool teachers. So then ICA staff trained some of, the pre some of the young women of the village to be preschool teachers. And so it was amazing. And then they said, where are we going to do this preschool? And so the village would decide, well, we're going to do it in the church or we're going to do it in this empty building here or this building here. And so the whole thing was amazing. And then the next year, and 200 people came. 200 people. It was amazing. And then we decided we would train a faculty from the country who were not just ICA people, but so teachers and others came and they became the faculty that worked with us so that they could do the program in Tongan. And then they said, okay, what are we going to do next year? They, they said, we want you to do this again. We said, we'd love to do it again. They said, we want you to go an to another island group because there are five island groups or four in the kingdom of Tonga. We said, okay. So the next year we went to the Ha'apai island group. We had to go on boats. It was very rough on the ocean. It was kind of scary. And we got there to Ha'apai and they had a newer high school. And so all the classrooms that we taught in and the places we slept, they were made out of concrete. And so we just did the whole thing exactly the same the next year. And they went to, they went to four of the island groups every year for four years. They went back. But it was so beautiful and the people were so, they always were welcoming. Yes, we want to learn this. We want to help our children and our young people. And for those young people, even though some of them were going to very good universities in Australia and New Zealand, they kept saying, we just love this. And years later, many of those young people are in positions of big responsibility across Tonga and also across the Pacific.